The Marvel comic universe is a vast and complicated world with various inspiring characters and nail-biting stories that have kept fans on the edge of their seats. It is home to some of the most recognized heroes in comic book history. Did you know that the Marvel Comics universe has a long lost mischievous cousin? Yes, you've guessed it right. We're referring to the ultimate Marvel universe. And for those unaware, your jaw is about to hit the floor. In this video, we'll discuss Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic, in a lesser known reimagination. We're talking about Reed from the Ultimate Universe and his journey from being a child genius to losing his entire family at a young age, being robbed of his greatest invention, and everything else that brought him to the evil side of life. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you and let's begin. Maker in the Making They say the best villains are the heroes of their own stories, and that's certainly the case for the Maker. If you're unfamiliar with the evil genius from another reality, he's Reed Richards from the Ultimate Universe. Known for playing the hero, using his intelligence and stretching abilities, the team eventually fell apart at the end of Ultimatum, an event we'll discuss at great length. Due to the unfortunate series of events, Reed was warped from a hero into a supervillain and went by the name The Maker. Soon, Reed started looking at alternate realities better suited to him and the ones he could take over and perfect them. Such terrifying motivation and this unmatched intelligence and power make him one of the greatest supervillains of all time. From the read we knew to the one we don't. The star duo authors Miller and Bendis ambitiously created the 21st century's take on the beloved classic The Fantastic Four. The quartet is shown in their early 20s with Reed Richards as a child genius who the government recruits under a gifted program. This is where he meets Johnny and Sue Storm aka the Human Torch and the Invisible Woman. It is here that Reed develops the technology for interdimensional travel. The trio and Reed's childhood pal Ben Grimm commence their journey to a parallel universe. Soon enough they discover that traveling through the interdimensional portal had mutating effects on their bodies, giving them extraordinary powers. The universe's Doctor Doom, Victor Van Damme, sabotages Reed's teleportation device. This eventually led to the creation of the Ultimate Fantastic Four. Did you know that the Ultimate Marvel Universe came in like a lifeboat to Marvel as a company when the hype and obsession of comic book collectibles were dying rapidly? With a high supply and low demand for comic books, Marvel was in the endgame, resulting in X-Men and Spider-Man licenses being sold off to productions like Fox and Sony. In 2005, the Ultimate Fantastic Four started crossing over with other storylines like the Ultimate X-Men. In terms of crossovers in the Ultimate Marvel Universe, David Finch and Jeff Loeb's storyline, The Ultimatum, fundamentally changed the course of Reed and the Fantastic Four. The Ultimatum is a battle that included all the major heroes of Earth 1610 against the ace of magnetism, Magneto. This war alters Richard's personality for the worse, as he now desires a more severe approach to solving problems. Many heroes and civilians have perished in the war. One was Franklin Storm, Johnny, and Sue's father. His death results in the superhero team breaking up, with Sue rejecting Reed's marriage proposal, further accelerating Reed Richards' downfall. However, the final nail in the coffin is struck when Richards moves in with his family, who is soon killed in an alien invasion. With such a kick-ass storyline, Marvel soon realized their fans needed an upgrade. After the Ultimate Marvel Universe launch in 2000, it was proven that Marvel wasn't on its back foot, but taking a step back to pounce like a panther. The new universe was an overnight hit, not only among longtime fans, but new readers as well. The sole reason for such miraculous popularity was the no previous continuity. The veteran fans found it a treat to have a completely new storyline, while the new followers found it easier to pick up the pace as the previous storyline wasn't needed anymore. The Maker's Dark Desires Story Arcs The plot behind The Maker is captivating, and it is one of the most villainous creations of all time. As the story unfolds, we witness Richard's transformation from the leader of the Fantastic Four into The Maker. The Negative Zone and a Negative Identity Richard's new identity and deeds are soon exposed to his beloved Sue Storm and the rest of the heroes. Attempting to battle his old friends, Reed's face gets scarred by the Human Torch and he ends up in the Negative Zone. His body was thought to have been lost in the Negative Zone and assumed dead. This defeat completely reincarnates Reed Richards as the Maker. Embracing his new self, the Maker now exists inside a dome where time passes at an increased rate alongside a futuristic race of beings known as the Children of Tomorrow. The Maker and his battalion reside in this dome for the next 900 years before they return to humanity. Another conspicuous alteration about Reed is the use of his super elastic abilities to stretch his skull for accommodating a now larger brain. It turns out that the Ultimate Universe is about giving a fresh start to the existing storylines and making the courageous decision of reinventing an age-old hero into one of Marvel's most disturbing villains, the Maker. Before launching the Ultimate Universe, Marvel tried to re-release a few comic issues from the 90s that weren't its best performers. The best example would be Brian Bendis and Mark Bagley's The Ultimate Spider-Man, which sold like hotcakes. 
The Great Battle of Dome In a noteworthy event, the Maker commands the children of tomorrow to slaughter every Asgardian. However, Thor teleports to the Dome and is bewildered about learning the true identity of the Maker. The Ultimate Series is genuinely worthy of its name. Who would have imagined a battle between the mighty God of Thunder and one of the most outstanding scientists, Reed Richards? The God of Thunder returns to S.H.I.E.L.D. warning them about the Maker and his identity. The U.S. government authorized a nuclear strike at the Dome. Reed and his Children of Tomorrow not only survived the attack, but also launched an anti-matter bomb attack in retribution, killing the President and the whole Congress. The Maker is not someone who should be taken lightly, as has been made evident so far, and that is precisely what the newly elected U.S. administration decides. Following that, Tony Stark enters the picture and comes up with a plan with a new President to offer himself up as a prisoner to barter for peace. Tony Stark is imprisoned as soon as he arrives, but not for long. As Tony suits up in giant Iron Man armor, the Maker injects Hulk with a giant man's growth serum. The Hulk and Iron Man engage in a duel, ending with the Hulk's defeat. While Sue swiftly infiltrates the dome to catch the Maker off guard, the other heroes pin Reed down and are taken back to Washington for trials. Did you know in 2002, Marvel created The Ultimates, a reimagination of Earth's mightiest heroes, the Avengers and the 21st century United States? This reimagined title became the number two most successful comic after The Ultimate Spider-Man. Race Against Time and the Change of Hearts The Maker would later show up teamed with Kang the Conqueror, a time travel who seeks to conquer the present, as the name suggests. This alliance includes the Hulk and the Quicksilver. They call themselves the Dark Ultimates. They aim to collect all eight Infinity Stones to prevent an extinction threat to Earth. As the remaining Fantastic Four and other heroes are engulfed in adrenaline-fueled combat, a huge energy surge stuns everyone, leaving them bewildered. Kang warns that it is now too late to save the universe and vanishes, leaving behind the Maker at the mercy of the heroes. Sue Storm faces her former love interest as she is under S.H.I.E.L.D.'s custody. Reed reveals that the great threat Kang warned about is Galactus, and he is soon arriving to consume the Ultimate Universe. This new line of comics gave the artists and writers the freedom to create as well as to wrap up many established heroes. It was a bold move to reimagine Reed Richards into someone pulls apart the immoral and atrocious The Maker. The Cataclysmic Arrival The 2013 issue, Cataclysm, The Ultimate's Last Stand, witnesses the arrival of Galactus from Earth-616 in the Ultimate Universe. The Ultimates fought valiantly against Galactus and his minions, but their efforts proved futile. Galactus was too powerful and continued consuming the planet, causing massive destruction. Finally, the Maker joins the Ultimate in devising a plan to send the Eater of the Worlds back to his universe. Reed and Miles Morales embark on a journey to Earth-616 in an attempt to meet with Mr. Fantastic from that universe. Through teleportation, the two find themselves at the Baxter Building, where Reed gains crucial information to defeat Galactus. During this period, he realizes he is not only a continuing member of the Fantastic Four, but also wedded to Sue Storm. This deeply impacts the Maker, who returns to his universe and regrets his previous deeds. In the meantime, the Ultimates administer Giant Man's serum to Kitty Pride, enabling her to utilize her phasing abilities to obliterate Galactus' machine that devours worlds. Reed and Tony open the portal to the Negative Zone, and with Thor sacrificing himself, Galactus is trapped in the Negative Zone. Out of Time and Space In 2014, in Jonathan Hickman's Time Runs Out, the Avengers and the Illuminati attempt to prevent the destruction of the multiverse. The Avengers and the Illuminati of Earth-616 deal with the intrusions that put their world in danger as universes start to collide. Illuminati of Earth-616 traverse the cosmos in an attempt to save their world in the Ultimate Universe. Reed is known to be the first one to discover the incursions. He travels across the multiverse along with Cabal to find a way out. The Maker notices the Illuminati are wiping out universe after universe to save their own. Upon realizing the gravity of the situation, Reed swiftly advises S.H.I.E.L.D. to consider launching an offensive on Earth-616. As time runs out, the heroes of both worlds are battling for existence, but their worlds eventually merge, paving the way for a further event. The Secret Wars Not so Secret Wars Hickman's 2015 writing, Secret Wars, tells the story of Doctor Doom's Earth-616 version as he gains godlike powers and creates a battle world using fragments of previously destroyed worlds. In this crossover, the Maker's life raft crash lands on Battle World where the remaining members of the Ultimate Universe come face to face with the Thor Corps. The heroes of both worlds join forces after Doctor Strange liberates them, as he realizes that Doom has rebuilt the universe to his liking. The two Reeds collaborate to create a strategy to restore the universe to its rightful state. Reed learns that the source of Doom's strength is Molecule Man, as he tries to liberate him. Meanwhile, the Maker attempts to fulfill his interest in gaining Doom's powers for himself. Upon seeing the Maker's misadventure, the Molecule Man shreds him into pieces, thereby killing the Maker. Reed becomes infused with the powers of the Molecule Man. This enables him to face off against Doom and wipe out Battleworld. 
Reed utilizes these newly acquired powers to entirely reconstruct the Marvel Universe, 616 Earth, and the entire multiverse. The Maker doesn't end in Secret Wars, as it's later uncovered that the Molecule Man divided his consciousness into all the realities that Mr. Fantastic restored, which means he exists in every universe. The Ultimate Universe was one of the multiple parallel realities which combined into Battle War Field as the Secret War went on. The remaining members of the Ultimate cast, including Miles Morales, the Ultimate Spider-Man, participated in the Battle World of events and engaged in combat with Doom and his goons. The multiverse was revived in the concluding chapter of Secret Wars, a new Marvel Universe was developed that combined parts of the mainstream Marvel Comics Universe and the Ultimate Universe. A few other members of the Ultimate Universe who made it through the incident, including Miles Morales, were integrated into the new Marvel Universe. What makes the Maker so powerful? His superhuman intelligence, which is considerably better than that of the mainstream Reed Richards, is one of the Maker's most important abilities. He has demonstrated the ability to develop cutting-edge technologies and devices well beyond anything seen in the mainstream Marvel Universe because of his unmatched proficiency in science, technology, and the universe at large. The Maker's intelligence is complemented by various physical and psychic skills that increase his might. The Maker is a particularly deadly enemy since he is willing to use his knowledge and abilities unethically. He has demonstrated the ability to manipulate people and circumstances to further his goals and isn't restricted by the same moral standards as his mainstream counterpart. Conclusion The Maker's journey in the Ultimate Universe doesn't end here, and it is revealed that Molecule Man split his consciousness into all of the numerous worlds restored by Mr. Fantastic. It looks like the Maker is here to stick around in the long run and become a core component of the upcoming issues. I've said this earlier, and I'll repeat it again. The Maker is one of the boldest moves played by the Ultimate Universe. However, I must agree that the Maker's origin story takes a darker turn. But hey, what good is a villain without some darkness? Well, that's it everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. Don't forget to click the like button and comment on your views about the maker.